Well, I'm finally ready to pack the bearings and put a date on the um, new seals so somebody will know when they were done. This is always so fun. Watch the grease come out. Has to fill up the middle part first and then it'll come out. So it's pretty empty. There's some popping. I just put a new tube of grease in so there might be a little air in there. Come on, baby. And you can stack bearings, like I could stack that smaller one on top, but I think they flow better when you don't, so. It's taking a lot of grease. There we go. See, we got old grease coming out. So that's going to flush out all the dirt and debris, water, rust and stuff, and put some nice fresh marine grease in there. So we got a good, let's get a little more on this side here. Take this part, seat it in there. All right, so there's one finished. Um, anytime I put on new parts, I like to put on my initials and a date because it reminds me of when things were replaced. Um, I will create a maintenance book for the boat um, and put it in there. But you know, 20 years from now, somebody will look at this and go, "Oh my gosh, these need to be changed." And then um, what I did is that new that bearings in there. And I ran a little bit of uh, blue silicone around this side to keep it a little bit more watertight. And then, of course, you always want to put a little bit of grease on your bearing seals before you install it. So, um, the final step that I did with a super clean rag is uh, spray a rag with some brake clean and then just wipe everything down and get all of the um, surface super, super clean. And um, that way we're not going to foul these brand new brake pads with grease from handling it and all the work that we've been doing. So now I'm going to pack, that's the inner bearing, this is the outer bearing, so we're going to chuck that baby on there and goop it up. Um, I changed out my uh, gun with a fresh cartridge and I just I had a ziplock here so I threw all the grease in it and then I can just squeeze it into places that I need a little extra grease and reuse it. I hate to waste things. You know these are not cheap components at the end of the day so I try to manage that. And then of course it's really important have a box to put all your greasy stuff in so that you're not contaminating the environment. Um, there are waterways right next to the property here, and I definitely want to use ultimate care to protect that stream because it ends up in the ocean. Okay, guys, it's a hard time to handle a camera, and um, so I'm going to pause this video and um, get this one mounted up. And uh, smeared some grease down inside there really good. Got this bearing all packed up, and... And I'm going to go get it mounted. And I got the hub already mounted. So I'm going to tighten this down, get it snug, and then about a quarter, half turn back. And I've got the uh, dust cap all cleaned up. I'm going to put grease in there. And I'll pack a little bit more grease around the outside of this. And then I've got blue uh, silicone on here to make this watertight. Um, that's really important on a boat trailer that you seal up your hubs. Or they'll end up rusty and nasty like that. 
although that other one was sealed. So, um, yeah, that's how I do them. Ta-da! Finished tub. And of course, you're always going to make sure they spin pretty freely. It's going to be tight for a little while because of all the fresh grease. But, of course, after I get home, I'll pull the wheels and uh, tighten them down just slightly as they settle in. But, there we go. There's one. That tire is ready for a tire now. Woohoo! All right, guys. Looky there. Two tires done. It's not even the end of the day. I still need to adjust the brakes from the back, but I think I'm going to do all four at once. Um, so, yeah. Two of them done. They look great. Really great. Nice, strong tires. Brand new brakes. Okay, so while I'm waiting for Napa to bring me parts tomorrow... I am going to start working on electrical, and I'll do another video on all the outline of that, I think, since this has been kind of about this side of the axles today. So, yeah, very productive day. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.